to some more vanilla Minecraft here on the Snow Cone SMP server. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing pretty good. I know I'm doing okay over here. Been working some extra hours this week, which is par for the course for a tax accountant. Can't complain too much. Anyway, um, first thing we need to do is to see what Mr. Taylor has been up to can see we've got ourselves some fancy little gates here and we have been invaded by snow golems there are so many snow golems in here you see there's a bunch of them here they're hiding all over the place somewhere in these like various little like storage areas we've got there I don't know how many he made but there's a bunch so uh, here's the sign he said here you are good sir a delivery for a yeti you Woolly thing surviving cold winters. So here, suffer. Your local golem producer, THD. Taylor HD. So then we click this. Boop. We got a little uh, present. Let's see. IOU. Use for a favor. Excellent. So now we have Taylor owes us a favor. Very cool. So I'm going to clean this up. We don't want these in the way. Uh, real quick. Boop. 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 Oh, excellent. What do we got here? We might be uh, using that here shortly. Let's see, what is it? Dispenser, we actually will be using that here shortly. Very, very cool. So that's what we wanted to start off with today. What we have planned for today's episode is to get a little bit of an industrial type farm going. Let's go to sleep before we go outside so we don't blow anything up. I can't tell you how many times I've blown the igloo up. Creepers, stinking creepers everywhere. So, uh, let's see. Let's go out of here. I'll show you what I've got planned. The red district, some of you may remember, is the industrial district. Um, we are actually right up against the red district here. You can see here's the border. And we've got zombies dying. And a creeper right here. Let's see if we can take him on. Yeah. Thanks to Gabe, we actually haven't died since he gave us our armor. What? That was a close one. Anyway, we'll fix up that hole. We've got plenty of work to do with dirt. Don't worry. Um, so I'll fix that hole in a sec. But you can see I've got some pillars set up here. And what we're going to be doing is building ourselves some greenhouses that are that will be available for everyone. And the reason for that is you can kind of see I've got, I found two villages. And they are way far away. But in those two villages, I found all the seeds that we need. So we've got wheat seeds. We've got seed, like potatoes. We've got carrots, which we can plant. And then we also have the beetroot seeds, which, you know, not too many people use. But hey. We'll have ourselves some place to grow them. So that's the plan for today. Before we get started, I need to go gather up some supplies. So I'm going to grab some wood and uh, some more dirt probably. Anyway, so I'm going to go do that real quick. And I will catch up with you once I have got ourselves some resources. So see you guys in just a sec. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. So we spent, I don't know, a little while gathering up some resources. We got ourselves some birch wood. That's right. We're going to use some birch. And we got a bunch of other types of wood as well. So we are just going to be building ourselves a fairly simple vanilla style. Obviously, we're playing vanilla, but semi-automatic uh, farm. Oh, we want this one empty. So I'm sure quite a few of you have seen these types of farms before. But uh, what we're going to be doing is... Oops have a hard time here so the gist of it is you plant your crops on the platforms here right and then from there you have yourselves a dispenser that shoots out water from a water bucket and then it proceeds to flush all of your um, seeds and wheat and whatever else you are growing down to the bottom where it's an easy place to collect it. So we're just going to be setting this up for the four types of food that I mentioned earlier we've been working on. Let's see, and we're going to raise these up a little bit so the water does not come crashing over on either side. We want it to go straight down on either side. So these are really, really simple. This is actually, I think, one of the very first videos I ever saw from Good Times with Scar was... Uh, his little uh, farm. This type of farm. He showed 
how to make one underground, I think, or something like that. I can't exactly remember, but um, this is one of the very first videos of his that I ever saw. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, so each of these platforms is going to be four by four. So that way you can use up an entire stack of seeds or potatoes or, you know, whatever, whatever you're using. And then let's see, we're just going to cut these guys out real quick. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, and boop. Okay, so from here, let's go grab our dispensers, actually. I'll kind of show you how these work. On the server here, we have a very, very high tick rate. So Gabe and Taylor decided that it, they didn't want to be super grindy. So they've upped the tick rate, which has helped us out a ton as far as gathering resources, especially crops. So by the time you get done planting all of your seeds, they're all going to be ready to collect. And I'll show you how that works here in a second. Ooh, we forgot to go grab seeds. Of course we did. No big deal. No big deal. We'll go get those in a second. So I just kind of want to show you the general setup of how this will work before we go grab some seeds and actually get it running for you. So it's pretty simple. You can see kind of how I've got this set up right here. You put the dispensers one level off the one block up from the dirt where you'll be harvesting. And then the other thing that's important to remember is that you need to have water source blocks or a source of water near where your crops are going to be, right? That's pretty simple stuff, but it's pretty easy also to forget when you're doing something like this. Um, okay. So let's see, I, we actually are going to grab one of these and build ourselves an infinite water source real quick. And this won't last for very long. We're just going to do this while we build up some water. So let's see, we need one, two, three, one, two, oop, already messed up, already messed up. Here we go. Let's see, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, that'll work for this water source. Boop. Boop. Okay, now we should be able just to keep grabbing as much water as we need, which will be very helpful. So then like this, boop, grab right here, put it here. Let's grab two more buckets of water while we do this. Anyway, boop. Let's see. Should work like so. We don't want any water flowing. I can hear it flowing somewhere, I think. No, I think we're good. Okay. So then we'll do the same on this side. Get ourselves some water situated. And up here as well. Oh, don't want to lose any water out this way and cause problems for everyone else. Hopefully everybody else is okay with this. Just taking up a ton of room here in the industrial district. But I figure we're probably okay since nobody else has really done anything yet either. So we'll go like so. Put this guy in here. Okay. Here's the gist of it. I need to go grab a hoe and I need to go grab some seeds. So this is kind of what it looks like. The water trickles down and goes this way. So I'm going to go grab a some seeds and some hoes and I'll show you how this works. I'll be back in just a second. And we are back getting ready. So I forgot to cover these guys and they have already frozen. So since we are in a snowy biome, we'll have to make sure that we cover all of these guys. We'll do that real quick. Punch all these guys real quick, get them all broken up. And then we should be able to give you a test run on this guy, which I'm pretty excited for. We also for, need to set up the redstone behind, which is pretty simple. This is one of the more simple things you can do with redstone, and it's one of the more handy as well. Um, there are much more compact and efficient ways of farming, but for those, you have to have tons of bone meal, and we don't have a, no, as far as I know, no one has found a skeleton spawner yet. So all we're going to do is just set these up like this, where the redstone is running into each of the dispensers. And I think if we do that, let's test out the water here. It should go on. Nope. Let's see. Hold on one sec. Let's test this out. You have to make sure that it's pointing into the dispenser. So I think maybe if we try it like this, it should work. I was just on a creative world and didn't seem to have any issues. So 
There we go. Okay, so you see the reason that we have them up is so that they fall down. This is already frozen. Go figure. Um, it falls down and spreads out a little bit. Uh, if you have it just on the ground, it'll go straight in one line, and then you have to have four or however many dispensers you have for however many rows of seeds you have. So then you just right-click it again, and the water shuts off. So let's plant... We have 35 carrots. Let's plant a few of them in here, and I'll show you. Obviously, the tick speed is just really high, so they'll grow real fast. And then we should be able to fill up... Oh, don't want to eat them. We should be able to fill up the entire section full of carrots, which is pretty cool. So you can see they're already starting to grow. I bet by the time we're done with the 15 that we have left, we will be able to harvest a bunch. We should have gone to the other side probably, but that's okay. That's all right. No big deal. Here we go. We'll also make this look a little bit better. Like you can see right in here, there's just a gap. We'll make that look a little bit better as well. So things to look forward to here on the snow cone SMP. Oh, we are one shy of filling up both of the entire left side. So just with an entire stack, that was half a stack of carrots almost. You'll see they're starting to grow. We'll give them here just a little bit of time to grow. And we should be good. Sorry, this video is late, guys. It's like I mentioned earlier, it's just been crazy at work. Lots of hours, but it is almost April 15th. So I've been pretty lucky so far. Anyway, okay, so this is probably good. Let's test this out and I'll show you. Boop. So they should all start flowing down. And it's not perfect, right? And that's okay. We'll you'll see most of them will flow down. And then it's easy collection from there. Click the button again. Boop. You should be able to grab like stragglers and things. Come on down. And then just down here, grab these guys. And now we've got a stack plus some of carrots. So it's pretty simple to collect all these. And what we're going to do is set up one on each side. So we've got one here for carrots, one for potatoes, one for wheat over here, and then another one for the beetroots. Uh, so that's the plan for today, and we're going to make them into domes. So we'll have four separate domes, and then they'll be connected right here through a little walkway. So I'm going to jump into Yeti speed, and we are going to take care of the rest of this. I'm going to plant these guys real quick off camera, and then um, we will jump into Yeti speed and finish off the rest of this guy. So I'll see you on the other side of Yeti speed.
finally finished with this guy. We did quite a bit of work off camera after that last Yeti speed cut, but it's looking good. What do you guys think? Hopefully you like it. It's not perfect. I'm not super pleased with the ends over here. What we're actually kind of probably going to end up doing is just burying most of them with dirt, kind of like the other side over here. That's okay. So you can see inside here, we've got ourselves a fancy little flooring. This is actually one of my favorite patterns for flooring. Um, the polished diorite with the furnaces. They're a little expensive because the furnace takes eight cobblestone, but I kind of like the way that it looks. Hopefully you guys do too. Um, so all we've got to do, we've seen this a time or two already now, just push the button. We're going to harvest them real quick and I'll show you what we can do after we harvest. So let's just keep a stack of the carrots. That's all we need to replant. You can see we've already got a stack, no big deal. And then from here you just replant like so. I'm only going to do a couple of these so we can see real quick how that works I don't know if I, I can't remember if I've shown you this or not I've recorded bits and pieces of this throughout the week uh, I've just been busy 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 at work so and then we've got beets over here we've got potatoes over here and then these have been stomped on by me when I was working on the roof and some uh, mobs also during the night time and then over here we've got wheat and it's the same thing for each one just push the button the water pushes everything to the bottom and you push it again turn the water off and replant so then we've got in the middle here on each side we've got a double chest for each of the various um, let's see each of the various plants that we're going to be doing so you'll have like your extra seeds or potatoes or whatever that you don't need over here just in case someone needs to restock and then for these ones over here you actually have seeds so like the beetroot seeds or the seeds you'll just put in the chest if you don't want any as you're packing it, walking through and harvesting so be nice to have a spot for those I guess so we don't just go chuck them anywhere or whatever I don't know anyway and then you also got spots for the hose because things like this happen and you need a hoe you don't have to I don't want to have people have to go run back to their base or whatever just to grab a hoe to fix their dirt so uh, got a little spot for these guys just a little left click and away we go so let's go fix these real quick Dude, dude. Oh, place a torch. My offhand there. And we've got all that done. So uh, that's pretty much it. We've got ourselves a very simple but efficient farm, vanilla style. A little bit of redstone involved, not too terribly much, but it makes life a little bit easier. And again, it's a stack each, which I mean, you can do more efficient ways, but I like the stack each makes things simple so anyway thank you guys so much for watching hope you've enjoyed it i'll try and get another video out this week we'll see i don't know it's kind of crazy and uh...